Hello Libras. This is your monthly for March. This is for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see. We're going to do a Celtic cross as usual. What's going on for Libras for March 2019? What do my Libras need to know? Libras. Let's see. Here we go, guys. The energy that is around you. Oh, okay. Was challenging you. Jumped out there. The underlying issue here. The recent past. Let's see if I can move this. Either move these up. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see the best possible outcome in this situation. What's coming in for you guys? How you're feeling? Your outside influence. Oh, okay. Cars, I just want to jump here. Your hopes. Your fears and the overall. All right, what's going on around you guys is the Ace of Wands. Um, I feel like there is definitely something that, that you guys are anxious about um, that has to do with uh, starting over, starting something new. I'm feeling maybe there's some sexual tension going on, even for some of you. Um, but uh, but what I'm getting from you guys is that you don't you, you don't just want like a sexual relationship though. Um, even though you have the sexual tension going on, I feel like you want somebody that that you can also have a committed relationship with is what I'm getting from you okay um, and I don't think that you really want to to be the initiator because what's challenging you is the Empress here um, the Empress really doesn't doesn't do anything to be honest with you the Empress waits for people to come to her um, she's growth she's abundant she is beautiful she's alluring people are attracted to her so this is what's challenging you okay now even though a lot of you i feel have like you you want to you want to have like this really strong attraction to um someone or you do have this strong attraction to someone so with the emperors being present i feel like this is a need for you guys to not really jump the gun don't be too hasty um wait for what you deserve is what i'm getting from this okay so the underlying issue here is a three of wands this is indeed waiting for what you deserve do that because i feel like there's something good coming in for you guys okay um very good i feel like right now you're feeling very fiery though you're wanting to take action on things is what i'm getting from this let's see how you're seeing this situation the queen of cups how you're seeing yourself is like you know you want somebody that you can basically have this this loving connection with this relationship with you have a lot of love to give and i feel like you guys are ready to um you're ready to have that commitment i feel i feel like you're very intuitive you're very in tune with your feelings um you're also in tune with other people's feelings as well could be a cancer um that you guys are thinking about maybe an aries here could be taurus as well i feel let's see what was going on in the recent past here the four of swords i feel like you guys were taking a time out basically that you were um maybe there were some things that were you know had disappointed you before and um you guys needed to kind of take a step back uh regroup even you know but now you're up and at it and you're ready to go it's like okay i'm, I'm done i'm done resting i'm ready to hit it 
you know so the best possible outcome here is that you guys will know exactly what you need to do that you will be victorious in this situation hooray you will get what you want you will get that new start um, and you will know it when it presents itself here with the ace of swords you have two aces here okay so this is this is really like I feel like this magician energy where you guys are manifesting things for yourself, okay? You're using the law of attraction. You're not just jumping a gun and just giving in to certain whims. You're waiting on what you deserve here, okay? What's coming in for you guys is the king of freaking cups, your partner, for a lot of you. Scorpionic energy, I feel. Here you are as the queen of cups. This king of cups is looking right down at you guys. I feel like this person right now has their, I don't really feel like this person is out for, um, they're attracted to you for sure. But you see how the King of Cups has his back turned to the Ace of Wands. And I don't feel like this is them not being attracted or not wanting to start. I feel like this is them saying, hey, that's not all I want. I care for you because the Queen of Cups is down here and the Queen, the, see my camera, the, <laughs> the King of Cups is looking right at the Queen of Cups. Okay, like here, here I am. I'm here, you know. So you guys may very well know who this individual is. If you have a Scorpio, that is in your vicinity or in your life that you know of um that could possibly be your partner okay so let's see why do i have these cards out here so i'm going to use this one as a clarifier actually because this is your outside influence here which is a nine of swords somebody thinking very heavily about this situation and i feel like this is an energy that's shared between the two of you if you can see that I feel like both of you guys are are really concerned about what's going on between you or what's not going on between you even, okay? Things that have not happened the way that, that you would want them to or the way that they would want them to, okay? A lot of, oh, we're never going to be together. This person's not going to want me. They're not going to do what I, what I, give me what I need even here, okay? Clarifying that, yeah, it's temperance. It's basically reuniting. So I'm thinking that somebody here is feeling like there's not going to be any, um, you know, working together in this situation to make this happen. There's not going to be balance and harmony here. But I don't feel like that's true. Okay? So if you're thinking that this cannot work out, then I don't think that's necessarily true. Okay, guys, Sagittarius energy here, um, Gemini energy here. Okay, your hopes, another Scorpio card, is that you guys will reunite, that you will come back together. That's what I feel. A lot of fond memories here, a lot of good memories, a lot of good time share with this individual. Your fears is that this will not happen. That that will not happen. That you guys will not reunite. That um, maybe too much has been said or too much has been done. Um, that it's too late even. That you don't feel this way. I think a lot of you may be in denial of your feelings, honestly. For some of you, may be in denial here. Okay, So the overall outcome in this situation is a seven of pentacles and I definitely feel like this is you guys feeling like you have invested enough time somewhere or somebody feeling like they have invested enough time um, here and it's it's waiting just waiting waiting on what they feel like they deserve but I'm, I'm strongly getting for a lot of you guys that the person that you're waiting on is already here that maybe some of you are not really seeing things clearly, okay? Because this is all about the empress here. This is your challenge. This is all about growing, new starts, new beginnings. So that is your challenge, guys, okay? So we have Taurus here. We have Scorpio. 
Sagittarius, Gemini. Scorpio is very strong here. Um, Aries is here as well. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys for March, and I'll be speaking with you soon.